full. Canterbury's hooked up again. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. Bassmasters out on the St. Lawrence River this weekend. And, uh, man, they're just slaughtering them. They're 20-plus bags for the top 10 for sure. And uh, it's it's a... It's amazing. So it's hard to it's hard to look away. It's like watching a train wreck. You can, you know you got to do other stuff, but um, when when fishing's happening, whether it's major league fishing or bassmaster, rest assured I'll be watching it. But we've got a lot of stuff to show you guys. Some stuff you've seen, some stuff you haven't seen. And before we get started, I really need to give a shout out to Nick Peters up in Ohio. Nick out of the goodness of his heart, sent me a bunch of clear boxes for lures. And I, folks, I can always use them. I can always use them. I run through them like water and I'm waiting on a shipment that's been severely slowed down, unfortunately. So really, really big lifesaver. And, um, thanks. Thanks so much for these. These are just lure boxes that come on regular lures. He's got a bunch of them and, uh, was very kind to ask if I wanted them. He reached out to me the other the other week, and they got uh, they got to me. I think Nick Wednesday is also Thursday. a custom painter, and he is more along the lines of the the pike musky walleye um, culture. And he sent me four phantom lures. Now, if you don't know anything about phantom lures, they've they've been in business since 1996, and they're out of Minnesota, and they're known for primarily their bigger trolling baits. But recently, I want to say as recently as last year, perhaps, maybe even this year, they have started a line specifically tailored for custom painters, which is super cool. Um, so I was excited to get my hands on some to paint as well. He sent me four of them. I'm going to paint two of them for him. Um, I, I got the secret on his favorite colors for trolling and for walleye. So we're, we're going to have some fun with some patterns. And it's neat because... One of the cool things about painting for another painter is that you, even though they have a specific style, and he's a really good painter, by the way, um, it's going to be fun seeing something different for him, for me to do for him. So I'm, I'm excited to do that. And he also said, hey, keep, keep a couple of them. So I picked these guys. This one, um, even though it's a little deep diver, the Banshees are good for crappie and multi-species so i'm excited to put these in the rivers where i'm at we have walleye also nick so um and then a banshee that's a little bit bigger so super stoked to get these thank you so much for the gift and uh it, it couldn't have come at a better time because i was completely out of boxes for my customers i was putting them in those little plastic um, static bags and sending them out that's it's been a crazy year here at jekyll baits so I'm going to link Phantom Lures in the description below and specifically a video that's got some of his work in it as well. So go check out Nick Peters um, if you guys are in the musky and, and pike and, and all that stuff. And I am too. I love it. I just, I'm just i more tailored to the bass community because that's the clientele that I have right now. Um, just now getting and breaking that mold into the, the bigger fish, bigger game fish, which is so fun. So much fun. But anyways, here's what we've got for you in the swim bait area today. So you guys have already seen Ray's Revenge. I know that I have shown you the Calico Gold, which is the goldfish. And these are cleaned up now. So we're going to set these back here. You guys have already seen those. Let's start with Dystopia. Dystopia I featured on the Brotherhood page because I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about the eyes. And a lot of you guys are already doing this. And I, I happened to notice when I was grooving through Nick's page, he does his own eyes now too. Good on you. Um, I don't, I'm guessing that you're actually making the eyes instead of just painting them. But if you are a new painter and you want something different to do, and let's say you just have regular old silver eyes or gold eyes and the size that you want, take that card that the lures have or the, the eyes have come on just as an example here i'll pull this out and you can either cut off a pair or use the entire card spray prime them white or black or any color you want but if you're going to paint them a different color other than white or black prime them white first and then spray your color and you can spray them while they're still on this card and then pick them off individually and put them on your baits and you're going to have a whole new refreshed look on that bait so that's what we did with this dystopia and you guys are probably like that kind of looks like a hot tuna well it's a reverse hot tuna pattern so on the hot tuna i do a white primer and then i lay down 
uh, my colors and then I spray black on top of that on this one the black is the primary color underneath and then we just wrapped it um, and threw those through those colors on and layered it so there's quite a bit of that layered look that kind of gives it a perception of depth on that bait that it's got a little bit a little bit more layers than it actually does but this is dystopia This is Brookham Dano, and if you guys are old Hawaii Five O fans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this is a brook trout playoff. Um, not exactly a brook trout, not exactly a shad. So just a cool creation that's going to be a great money maker, good fish catcher, and almost a brook trout, but not quite. So Brookham Dano is that pattern right there. Nutter butter. Nutter Butter is pretty cool. Um, it is the PBJ, my version of the PBJ. And it is that plum glitter fading down into, this is just a, a wicked detailed flesh tone to get that peanut butter goodness in the middle of it and then a fluorescent yellow, um, which kind of blends with that purple to give you that green face. So this is all just a blend and then we sprayed just a little accenting and, and scales and then just a couple of red dots on that. I love how the Nutter Butter turned out. This is definitely going to be a new pattern for the fall and going forward in 2020. Just love how that looks. I took pictures of these last night, threw them on my Facebook page. Doesn't do it justice. This is the summer sunfish, the green sunny. I toned down the purple since I was using purple, very similar colors in the Nutter Butter. I wanted to tone down the purple and give that more of a copper top, brownish tone. So this is a burnt sienna with just a hint of black magenta on the top. Everything here that you guys always ask me, what stencil do you use? This is not a stencil. This is me sitting down with a very small artist detail brush and loading my own mixture of blue there's the brush and painting every single dot and every single line by hand on every one of these baits so this is a good bit of effort that goes into something like this not a five dollar paint job this is a juvenile bass this is that large mouth and we're calling this the bassinet or bass in net. Good match the hatch. Looks like uh, she might be post spawn. <laughs> so maybe a good, uh, good spring bait to throw. But just your traditional bass colors. Some decent blending in there. White belly. Lots of gold and copper. Into a um, key lime green and then a moss green down the back. Just a standard uh, smoke black pearl to do the detailing for the pattern. California 420. You see this color on a lot of plastics, not so much on baits. I don't see a whole lot of the baits, uh, hard baits that come out in this color, but I love that color in the Zoom plastics, the Cali 420s, so I just had to recreate it on a hard bait. So when you come into this, you'll see that it's got that gold and green. Almost named this Kush, but I decided against it. You either know what I'm talking about or you don't. And this is a Russ Allen Insane Custom Stencil stencil that he was kind enough to send my way. So we put that to work on some of these swim baits because these are the perfect size for some of his swim, uh, swim bait stencils. So that is all the news that's fit to print. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. I uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you're catching way more fish than me because I'm going to be in the shop this weekend working on y'all's orders. And we've got a spray session coming up that I'm going to be doing a, a run of bandits. They, uh, it's a customer request for a pattern that he can no longer find. It's a simple pattern. But uh, sometimes the simplest are the best to, to start you guys out on, especially if you're new to the airbrushing community and you're just getting started in the hobby or as a career. 
And then the other thing that we're going to be doing this weekend, I've got one pour to do, and I'm starting on a massive project this weekend because I just got my supplies in for um, the Buffalo Man up in Kansas. So that's going to be cool. I've got a 24 by 48 uh, inch, which is... Yes, that's right. It's a two foot by four foot canvas. We're going to be doing a solar system and a space scene for him, which uh, is going to go in his brand new addition on his ranch. It's the, the guest center on his ranch. So super stoked to get that started this weekend. That's going to be a long, uh, long, long, long project, but I'm excited to, to get that going. So you guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you on the next video. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates.